Welcome back. Wednesday's Warrior Tonight is on the road. Our Doug Dunbar joins us live tonight from New Orleans. Doug? Kaylee, Ken, we're right outside finally, the National World War II Museum here. We landed just over an hour ago on a flight from DFW this afternoon. So we had 40 North Texas World War II veterans on board, paired up with 40 junior high school students from the Grapevine Colleyville High School District, or the district, their high school students, obviously. Uh, they are brought here by the Gary Sinise Foundation and what's called the Soaring Valor Program to pass the message on through the generations. And our Wednesday's warrior tonight, happens to be one of our veterans who is on board and on this trip with us, who by his own admission, probably shouldn't even be here. My name is John Luckadoo. Most people call me Lucky. And for good reason. Lucky Luckadoo was just 19 years old when our country called on him to fly the B-17 bomber. At that time, we were required to do 25 combat missions if we survived. Statistically, you couldn't. But on one of his early bombing runs into Germany, the nickname became legend. October the 8th of 1943, we were on a mission to Bremen. We lost 12 out of 18 airplanes. 120 men, some friends, gone in an instant. One of the sobering stories Lucky plans to share with this young man, 17-year-old Drake Leach, the Grapevine High School junior among dozens selected to spend the next two days one-on-one -on -one with members of the greatest generation. It is incredible to know that I will be with someone who is directly connected with me being here today. How old were you here? I was 21 years old. Drake and the others won't hear many stories of heroism. What they'll hear are stories of how it really was. Out of those 40 from my uh, graduating class that went to this same group, four of us completed a tour. I need to know how they did it, why they did it, and how it affected them. Because if I can learn that and then I can tell other people about that, I can promise they will not be forgotten. And we know that when it comes to soaking in the history, no matter what it is, in this case, World War II veterans, there is no better way to do it than to hear it firsthand from those who were there, those who walked the walk. And that is what's going to be happening over the next 48 hours. One veteran, one student, hand in hand together for the next two days, the greatest generation passing it down to the next generation. I can't wait to share this all with you coming up on Monday night on CBS 11 News. For now, live in New Orleans, outside the National World War II Museum, I'm Doug Dunbar. Wednesday's Warriors on the road, CBS 11 News.